we'll solve one more problem on uh, isometric projections. So I'll just read out the problem. A sphere of a diameter 30 millimeter rests on the frustum of a hexagonal pyramid. So I have taken a frustum of pyramid so that we can complete uh, all the different types of problems that is there. A hexagonal pyramid of base 30 mm, top face 18 mm, and height 50 mm such that their axis coincide draw the isometric projections of the combined solids. So I have just drawn so that uh, we can just uh, go through it a little faster. So I have drawn the first of the pyramid of base 30 mm, sides and height, uh, sorry, the face 18 mm and the height of the first hexagonal pyramid to be 50. So if we draw the hexagon at 30 mm, you can use its scale and join the center. So the portion of the lateral edges will be seen. Okay. So the portion of the lateral edge since it's a pyramid. So if you open a first term of a prism, it will remain a prism again. So we don't find any difference. But if it's a pyramid, so it will be a different, uh, uh, it will be a different type of view that we get. So the slant edge, different view is drawn. So the sphere is placed on top of it. The sphere, you look at it from whatever angle, you will only see it as a circle. So we'll just draw it and we'll just cross check. So we observe that the face of the pyramid, hexagonal pyramid, which is 18, uh, the sphere is not blocking any of the view in the top view. So we are fine with that. So we need to transfer or we need to draw the hexagonal pyramid onto the isometric projection. So what do we do? We can construct a rectangle here. So that this will give us a reference to draw the hexagon. Okay, for time being, I'll keep it uh, board and read 60 has to be, and this will be 51.96. So, so this is 60 and this is 30. So these two will be 15 mm from the So these two will be 13 mm from the point. So don't worry. And this is 51.196. So naturally this length will be 25.98. So we need to draw the rectangle here to draw the base of the hexagonal pyramid. So what we'll do, we can either place it from left to right or right to left. So we'll draw 60 at an angle 30 and 51.96 at an angle of 150. So again, we'll come 60, an angle of minus 150 or you will draw it parallel to the line. So if you observe 51.96. So you need to transfer the points of the corner here, which is at a distance of 50. So either you can take an arc, cut it, or you can have your own different methods to do until or uh, till you are doing it correctly. So what I'll do here is I'll draw from the end point, I'll draw a 15 mm line. Fifteen at an angle of 30. So this is just for my construction, okay? So I'll move it, place it here, with, move it with a copy. So you move this line again, just show it why, okay? So now the endpoints here is nothing but the endpoints of your base pyramid. Okay. So instead of taking an arc, cutting it again, you can use this method. So hexagon now it looks so simple, right? So the midpoint is here. No need to mark the midpoint. So this software itself gives you the option. So since it was two, it's still showing. So this is the base of your so it's showing thickness to make it 0.5.
Okay. Now, you can see this is small mistake. A little bit, be careful so that these types of mistakes won't happen. 15 at an angle of 30. So 15, angle 30. Okay. So 15, again, angle of 15. This is where the problem is. So no problem, we'll redo it again. So 960 angle 30. Fifty one point nine six at an angle of one fifty. So sixty at an angle of minus one fifty minus fifty point nine six. So here we'll draw 30 mm line, 15, 15, 15, 15. Now the midpoints here. So remove the construction lines. They're all of length 15, you can observe here. So you have drawn the base of the hexagonal pyramid. Now at a height of 50, you need to have uh, the frustum that is similar to hexagon, uh, not similar to hexagon, it's a hexagon. The length is reduced to 18 mm. So you need not draw the hexagon again. So you can use a, what is known as the scale. So first for that, you need to draw this, you need to mark the center. So from center, what is the height of the uh, frustum? It is 50 mm. So please observe carefully. Move or scale here with a copy. Make sure you're scaling it with a copy. So you need to reduce 30 to 60, sorry, 30 mm to 18. That is 18 by 30, which is 0.6. Or you can just write it here, here. You see the cursor, 18 divided by 30. So you observe, we're getting a scale model and it's an infinite loop. Don't worry much about that. So this model is ready now. So you move it without a copy, you take the midpoint here. Just bring 